Hey everyone, it's Justin Staub, your deck of goat here. And if you're at the final stretches of your written event, uh, if you're anything like some of my students, you've had that panic moment of, oh no, I've got to put my page numbers on my document and I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So I'd like to walk you through a very quick tutorial of how to do this in Google Docs. Um, and I hope that this helps you get to the finish line and not lose penalty points on something quite, quite easy. So what makes this very tricky for deck and competitors is not that they have to put the, the page numbers in, but they need to do it uh, after the title page and after the table of contents. So on my screen, I've got my title page. This is just a sample document I threw together. I've got my title page, I've got my table of contents, and I want my page numbers to start on what would effectively be page three. So to do that, um, first off, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna go up to the view menu and click on show section breaks because it's gonna give you an, a neat option here. So I've got my uh, first page and then my title or table of contents. I'm going to go to insert I want to insert a break and I want to insert a, a page or a section break, not a page break, and have it be uh, the section break on the next page. I don't want it to be continuous with the previous stuff. Now, because I went up to view and did show section breaks, I can see this blue line. That blue line will not affect anything in the text of my paper when it's printed or PDF for my judge. But now that I've done that, this is uh, my title page and my table of contents are one section and the rest of my paper is another section. Now I can go to insert, headers and footers. I like putting the page number in a header, but that's just a preference. Uh, what we do not want to do is we do not want to link to a previous section. We want to make sure our options, click on the options and go to page number. So we want it to start in section two. We want it in the header. We want to show it on the first page. And again, I don't know why Google Drive sometimes will do this, but it says uh, continue from previous section, but we don't want that. We want it to start on one. So it's just that easy, but it's a little frustrating for students to figure this out. And again, I get a lot of questions about this, so I thought a little quick explainer video wouldn't be a bad thing. If you found this helpful, hit the like button. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and good luck on your DECA success journey.